Good morning. It's Tuesday the 24th. Uh, it's a pretty humid light night last night, so it was pretty difficult to sleep. However, I had my air conditioner on to cool my room down for a good couple hours before I went to sleep. So by the time I actually got into bed, I was able to turn it off and just sleep pretty quickly and pretty peacefully. So much better sleep last night than I did uh, the night before. Uh, I wanted to get right into uh, right into the heart of the matter, the meat of the uh, meat of this video, because uh, it's a pretty important revelation that I had. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine about um, what kind of energy that we uh, invest in other people and in ourselves, and uh, how easy it is to get burned out. So, basically. I have this thing that I call the 50% rule. And that means that no matter what energy I am giving to other people, um, and no matter what energy I am investing in work and in, you know, the stuff that I do, um, I never invest more than 50% of myself in extraneous activities. Um, so what that means is that uh, people I care about, uh, my family, um, friends, work, uh, hobbies that are basically uh, hobbies that are uh, quite draining, I guess. Um, and even though, yeah, some of the hobbies might actually fall into the into the fifty percent that I'm talking about. But all I'm saying is that let's say, for example, that a, a normal person who doesn't really pay much attention to how they spread their energy around. Um, they might have, uh, they might invest 20% in themselves, uh, 20% in their, uh, in their work, uh, 20% in their family, 20% in their friends, and then 20% in, um, let's say, um, some social activities of some sort. Well, you'll see that while those are all balanced, 20% between them all, that you're not actually really balancing yourself because if you if you end up you're, you're spending 80% uh, of your oh sorry 60% 60 to 80% of your energy on um, other things other than yourself so if you get stressed out if you get uh, overreached you're all of a sudden left with only 20% for yourself and that can end up leading you to stop eating right stop uh, looking after yourself stop exercising stop uh, meditating if that's uh, part of your practice um, and it's really difficult to build up even that 20% because you're still investing that 80% in, uh, in everyone else and in your other activities so instead what you want to do is you want to make sure that you always maintain 50% uh, uh, on yourself 50% of your energy has to be either on you or on activities that let you build that 50% back up. So you could choose to invest 30% in yourself and 20% in hobbies that end up leaving you feeling good about yourself. So for me, um, part of my 50% is maybe 15 to 20% uh, that is invested in exercise and in meditation, which I do every morning and it helps me frame my day. Uh, sleeping right, that's also part of my 50%. Uh, making sure that I get um, a good amount of sleep and I'm working and I'm waking up in my correct sort of frame of my sleep cycles uh, see my last blog about that about uh, sleep cycles and then also um, eating right again for me if I don't eat well um, I get really not only do I feel bad because I've eaten dairy or gluten because I've decided to treat myself um, I just ended up feeling bad about myself. So if I continue to keep this very strong core of building up my own reserves and looking after myself, I keep myself at 50%. Then that other 50, I can uh, sort of uh, met out between my friends, my family, uh, my work. And that 50% that I met out between, uh, between other people will change depending on the week, you know, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I have a really tough time at work so I put more in there sometimes my friends are having a bit of a tough time so I'll put a little bit more in there now this doesn't mean that if you're if you've got a partner if you've got a 
a family member or a friend that really needs you and you don't have those energy reserves, you can dip into your 50, but you have to make sure that you've been keeping up on those activities that are going to help you quickly replenish that. So if I stay up a little bit later to talk to a friend because they're feeling miserable about themselves, I have to make sure that I get to sleep or um, if I don't get my, because, because I've stayed up late, I don't get my full uh, cycles of sleep, I have to make sure that when I wake up, I still do my exercise, I still eat right, and then the next day, I go to sleep early so that I'm ready and sort of ready to quickly build those up back up again. So that's more or less the core of what I wanted to mention today. But if you have any other questions or any other uh, issues that you'd like me to address and things that you'd like me to talk about, by all means, please leave a comment uh, down below or uh, on my blog or wherever you found this, on Twitter perhaps. And please, I'd be more than, more than, uh, more than happy to hear what you have to say. So um, give me some topics and give me some feedback. Thanks very much, guys. Have a wonderful Tuesday.